So in this week's video, I wanna to talk to you about what to fix first in your accounting practice. Every single accounting firm that I've ever worked with always asks me this question. They're like, Eric, what do we need to fix first? What do we need to fix first? What do we need to fix first? You know, is it HR? Is it my business development plan? Is it my uh, tech stack? Is it, should I be outsourcing? Should I be fixing my website? What do I do first? What do I do first? I wanna simplify it down for all of you and, and let you know exactly what I've found so far over my oh, 30 plus years now of being in public practice and coaching CPA firms, is that I like to think of it in terms of really simplistic, uh, simplistic approach. And so basically you've got a revenue model and an expense model. And from there, of course, it kicks out your net income. Now, what I'm seeing a lot of firms and a lot of the gurus out there focusing on is they're all focusing on this. Let's, let's, let's get into the expense side of the, of the equation and let's, let's fix your tech stack and let's talk about human resources, HR, let's go to, uh, let's do outsourcing, right? Um, and they're all looking at driving the expenditure side down, 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 which is basically efficiencies. That's what we're looking at here is, is increasing the efficiencies and reducing the expense side of the equation. <clears throat> Instead, what I've found works incredibly well, and it's what I teach in the accountant success formula, is let's focus on the revenue side of this equation. Let's, let's focus on what I call the business model side. And this is the business model side. And there's a definition of a business model is how you create, deliver, and capture value. And whoops, I was gonna do that wrong. Capture value, okay? Value is what we're trying to do here. Those three things, create, deliver, and capture value. Now, if you can fix your revenue model and make it so that it's easier to collect higher fees from your clients, you're going to have an impact on your net income in much more leveraged fashion than it is reducing some of your expenses in here. Or thinking that you're going to make you know, a better net income by reducing your costs. Now, now don't get me wrong here. I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't look at this, but what I'm saying is don't put the cart before the horse. Don't focus on expenses first and reducing that because I see a lot of firms doing this and I, and I truly believe this is a big mistake. I've seen it over and over again. If you're focusing on this, you're not focusing on the, the revenue side, which is where the value is created. What is the value your clients really want? And if you could increase your clients and think about this overall, if you could increase all your clients' fees by 25%, just instant uplist of 25%, what would happen to your net income? It multiplies all the way down and every new client that comes on board is gonna be a 25% higher. Well, your net income is gonna go through the roof and then you're gonna have the extra breathing space then you can focus and come back in here and maybe reduce some of your expenses or you know increase your tech stack look at you know human resources maybe look at some outsourcing some technology that sort of thing then you look at that but focus on this first and it's the business model it's about you how you create deliver and capture value so again what do i fix first in my accounting practice fix the revenue side of the equation first and we do that in the account success formula through a value pricing model and if you're interested, reach out and let me know. I'd love to have a chat with you. So I'm Eric Solback and reminding you that when you take back control of your business model, you'll take back control of your life. Stay tuned for more success tips to come.